am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> call the police. What for? The call costs more than the car. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. I want a balloon. You've already got one. <laughs> uh, honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? <laughs> Because, Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned promptly. <laughs> well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expecting. <laughs> oh, that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> but I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> That's very touching, honey. Now rub my feet. Peggy, I wouldn't rub your feet if a genie popped out of me. Oh, Peggy, you'll never guess what Jefferson did. Misunderstood your cries of pluck me to the butcher? As a little girl, I wanted to be a ballerina. Ballerina? <laughs> you sure are my nutcracker. I just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> you know medium, the size between small and you. Why must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> I'm a natural born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Good, now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> Although, that's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Oh! Or a bra on you. Question two. Who would you rather spend the night with? A, your wife, or B? B. Fun of our way! Two, four, six, eight! Go make fun of our way! One, two, three, four. You're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> This year, I am finally going to win the neighborhood decorating contest. What, are you going to stand out front and be the little drummer boy? <laughs> you think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. Is <laughs> oh, just a second here? Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? A shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. Wow, nice wheels. But you have to realize stealing cars is a felony. So it's pretending to be that kid on Home Improvement. With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. Well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Or try the moon, you'll weigh less now. You know, Marcy, how can you be so unfeeling? Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that something very, very important was gone? Well, sure you do. You must every morning when you open up your pajama top. <laughs> well, let me explain. See, it's, it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this seat. <laughs> Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. You will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> you know, Jefferson, good for you. You decided to take the Miller boy camping. <laughs> hey, Bundy, I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> You certainly do! Hey! You're in my son. I'm trying to get an all-over tan. Are you 
asking a lot of the sun. Excuse me, do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them to Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> Now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? <laughs> and to help you out, I made a top ten list of things to make you more attractive for your... for your sex symbol husband. Uh-oh. Number ten, wear traditional Islamic garb covering all but the eyes. Number nine, feather removing electrolysis. Number eight, ski mask. Number seven, sew up holes in ski mask. Number six, hire attractive woman to stand in front of you at all times. Number five, beak job. Number four, put paper bag over ski mask. Number three, shave head, tattoo Cindy Crawford's face on back of head. Learn to walk backwards. Number two, poke out eyes of every man on earth. <laughs> Number one, get president to make every day Halloween. <laughs>